How will artificial intelligence change the world? We often hear apocalyptic narratives surrounding AI, painting it as this unstoppable force. But artificial intelligence isn't necessarily a bad thing, and it's definitely not a villain. It's more like a tool, like a sculptor's scalpel, if you will. This tool can be used to create magnificent masterpieces, or it can inflict devastating wounds. In fact, AI itself isn't inherently good or evil. It's a spectrum of possibility, showing both promise and peril. The outcome ultimately depends on us, the sculptors of our future. So perhaps we started with the wrong question here. Maybe instead of asking, "How will AI change the world?" We should really be asking, "How will we choose to wield it?" Can we harness its power responsibly, fostering a future where the collaboration between humans and AI solves the world's greatest challenges? My name is Mika Khan, and I believe the time to think again, reevaluate our assumptions, and chart a course for a beneficial future with AI is now. Let's remind ourselves of a time long ago. A curious human discovered fire, and at first it was terrifying. It was wild, untamed, dangerous. But then we realized it could be used to cook our food, provide warmth, and protect us against wild animals. If left unchecked, it could also burn down forests and our homes. Fire wasn't good or evil. It was powerful, very powerful. AI is like our modern fire. Like fire, it can illuminate, transform, and protect. It can also burn if we are careless. The difference? Fire took thousands of years to spread across civilizations. AI would take a few days. That's the scale of the opportunity and the risk. But now let's talk about the bright side to AI, because really, it's spectacular. AI is revolutionizing education. Imagine a personalized tutor for every child, regardless of their background, the amount of money in their parents' pockets, or their neurodiversity. AI is also shaping up the agricultural industry, helping farmers improve crop yield, manage their resources more efficiently, and reduce waste. AI also plays a big role in medicine. Helping doctors diagnose diseases faster, inventing new pharmaceuticals and drugs, and also predicting outbreaks before they even happen. And aside from all of that, AI has so much untapped potential that it is ultimately leading to the creation of many new industries we haven't even dreamt of yet. As AI expert Mustafa Suleiman had said in his book *The Coming Wave*. If the internet gave people the ability to broadcast, AI gives everyone the ability to do things on an unprecedented scale. Now here's the catch: with great power comes great no, nah, -uh, nah, -uh. not responsibility, not just responsibility. With great power comes great consequences if we. Don't act responsibly. We live in an era of exponential technological growth. Not just AI, but synthetic biology, quantum computing, and robotics are merging to reshape the world as we know it. The opportunity to play God is within our hands. And yes, these technologies can be misused. AI, in particular, could be used in cyber wars. Used to spread disinformation, or even used to design biological hazards such as bacteria or virus that could wipe out millions. The possibilities with AI are endless in both good ways and bad. It's essentially like giving everyone the blueprint to a super powerful engine. Most people will build cars. Some people might build missiles. And in fact, this isn't even the future. This is today. A high-profile, well-guarded scientist in Iran was assassinated in a drive-by shooting by 
a remotely operated AI-guided machine gun. Now, while this AI was told when to start shooting, it wasn't told explicitly who the target was. Neither was it told how to aim itself, showing advanced facial recognition and movement capability. This was 2020. Now is 2025. Imagine robots equipped with not just facial recognition, but DNA sequencing and automated weapons. Future robots could be the size of a bird or a bee and be equipped with a small firearm or a vial of anthrax. Once again, possibilities are endless, and it's accessible to practically anyone crazy enough to build it. This is the future we are potentially looking at. This is the future someone out there might already be building. AI doesn't understand humor, emotions, or ethics. How can it? It's just programmed by us. It optimizes based on the data it's fed and the goals it's given. So for AI to be used responsibly, we have to care. So what can we do? I propose plan AAA. Acknowledge, alliance, and administer. Firstly, we need to acknowledge this challenge. We can't try to fix something that we refuse to believe is there. We must admit that AI, while powerful, has risks that we don't understand yet, risks that morally skewed opportunists are taking advantage of to hurt millions of individuals with. This isn't fear-mongering. It's reality-checking. Next, we must ensure alliance and global collaboration. AI doesn't limit itself to borders, so our solutions shouldn't either. Scientists, tech leaders, businesses, governments, everyday people like you and me need to come together across nations, cultures, divisions to fight for our future. Last but not least, certainly not least, we need to administer this. We need to monitor its development, control its deployment, and limit its misuse. Just like we regulate food safety, medicine, and even nuclear technology, AI deserves thoughtful governance. To start this process, I started working on the Society of Responsible Artificial Intelligence, SORI for short, to continue spreading my message and raising awareness. I want you to contribute to this cause, whether it's telling your friends, telling your family, or posting about it on social media, such as Instagram or Facebook. Let's be the generation that harnesses this extraordinary tool, not just with brilliance, but with wisdom, empathy, and responsibility. Because the future isn't written in code. It's written in the choices we make today. Thank you. <laughs>